Hello and welcome back to the Jack Osborne channel and in today's video I will be exploring the Penalta Colliery near Estrid Manach. This wasn't a planned exploration because obviously I went there to get shots for the Singenis documentary which is coming up. But I'm going to give you a little bit of history behind the Penalta Colliery. So Colliery opened up in 1905 and by 1908 it was the deepest colliery in the South Wales coal fields. Then by 1923 it employed over 2,395 men and boys. So war hit and the colliery went into full war production. But after the colliery the government schemed to nationalise, after the war sorry, the government schemed to nationalise all collieries I put them under one, one business in a sense, one board, the National Coal Board, the NCB. The colliery survived through the 1984-1985 miners strike and made an impressive gains in production after the return to work. But the British Coal Board would eventually close the colliery on November 1st, 1991. So the last shift of the colliery was led out by a brass band. The last deep mine working in the Rumney Valley this was as well. So obviously like I said the video was not planned but let's get straight into it. Just so you know on this wet rainy day we are at Penalta Colliery. Here we are. This is the Penalta Colliery. Looks like some sort of construction site. It's not exactly safe rest. One of the old wheels. It's my umbrella just getting in the way. Big in the South Wales Valleys, this was. South Wales coal fields, one of the biggest in the world for exporting coal. Got this concrete slab and this that. And obviously this site now is a construction site. It's the old offices right behind. 1906 is on there. Never thought I'll be going under an old winding wheel. There's the other wheel over there. So apart from the winding wheel, I should have done a bit of research on the shafts really. But it's something quite spectacular this is. Well right, now we are near the, like the old winding house area. Up to probably will be the other shaft the other way into the colliery. Shame we can't get into these buildings they break up. Just a little history again on Penalta. It opened in 1906 as you can see above that door. I'm zooming in on it. It was in operation during the war. Even during the tragic Singenis mining disaster, it did help out operations there. Here is the other wheel. Then it would eventually fall into the decline of the miner strike when it was under the National Coal Board. 
and then it eventually closed in 1991. One of the f last collieries in Wales, really, before towers closure in the early 2000s. Let's have a look at this building here. It's quite something. It is spectacular to look at, really. Just this Welsh heritage here of the colliery. If you look down here as well, this is literally old railway line. This is actually old train track where coal carriages had been carried to lead up to this shaft by here. See how close we can get to this shaft. There's a lot of barbed wire around it. There's a lot of people climbing. There's... It is something. Uh, apart from the winding wheel there, this is the old cable which is probably used. We've got a bit further on by here. Where these bricks lay actually covers up the old shaft down towards the mine. It's not big at all. Just imagine the six, seven people fitting down here. We're going to carry on walking underneath. Just going to look up. This is quite shocking though, this is not a heritage park or anything. Just some of the surrounding areas of the park. And up half the colliery. So those buildings by here look like housing. While by here it looks like a washboard. Like some offices by a probably part of the colliery. It looks very, very burnt out. And obviously behind me are more maintained off. my exploration of the Penalta Colliery and I hope you have enjoyed it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did. I will be exploring with Random Autica next, the app which has been causing the stir on the internet. I'll give a little bit of explanation in the next video. And please keep an eye out for my Sengenis Minor Disaster documentary which will be out on the 14th of October which will be an anniversary of the disaster. Until then, I'll see you next time.